Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Labor's promise to fill 1 million more potholes each year and a 8.3 billion pound pledge for road repairs were in doubt last night. Chancellor Rachel Reeves pulled the pothole cash this week as part of her spending squeeze to plug a 22 billion pound black hole in the nation's finances. But it came weeks after Sir Keir Starmer promised some readers in his election campaign that he would launch a road repair blitz. In June, the PM insisted his plan was fully costed and backed by enough money with £320 million from deferring the Arundel A27 bypass. He also pledged it would be on top of the £8.3 billion the Tory government had promised for road repairs from scrapping high-speed rail HS2. But on Monday, Ms Reeves pulled the bypass project in West Sussex to shore up the public finances instead. Government sources also said the £8.3 billion 11-year roads investment plan was now being assessed in the round. The Department for Transport said the government was still committed to providing cash needed to fix up to 1 million more potholes a year, but it did not confirm where the money would come from. AA President Edmund King said, drivers want £320 million from the A27 bypass to fill 1 million potholes as promised, rather than partially fill a £22 billion black hole. Simon Williams, from the RAC, said, the country's roads will almost certainly continue to crumble. Shadow Transport Secretary Helen Waitley said, Keir Starmer spent months telling voters he could fund everything with economic growth. No surprises road investment is one of the first casualties. 